Oh my god! <laughs> We all know that TikTok belongs to Generation Z. So as a millennial, I hear a lot of people asking if it's worth using TikTok as an artist. I don't think it's a simple answer as it will depend on your goals. In this video, I want to go through the pros and cons of using TikTok as an artist and what you can expect to achieve. I'm going to skip telling you about what is TikTok and just assume that everyone knows what it is by now and how it works. TikTok is really recent comparatively to Instagram or Twitter and it technically also serves a completely different purpose even though Instagram is really trying to join on that bandwagon. Twitter is like a conversational platform whilst Instagram was more like a photo sharing platform and is now trying to convert into a video sharing platform, much like TikTok. TikTok used to be short videos only, but is now adding longer form of videos, so maybe one day you'll see like TikTok YouTube videos as well. Even though in the beginning TikTok served only a younger community, more people of all ages are starting to join in. Some because they actually like it and some because they see how useful it can be for either selling, showcasing products, market themselves and so on. If you saw my previous video on how to improve your Instagram ratings then you know that I strongly advise you to go on TikTok and at least find inspiration to create reels for Instagram. That's more important than ever now that Instagram is actually changing to a video sharing platform. So if you're following this advice and actually making the reels, then you might as well share it on TikTok as well. If you're not doing it already, of course. Even if the community that initially engages with you on TikTok doesn't buy your art, because they're too young, for example, at least they give you some visibility. They engage with you and your videos and give you a possibility of growth. TikTok is a great way to create an engaged community. I feel like people in there are awesome and very communicative, especially when compared to Instagram or even Twitter for me. And it can be nice to have questions asked on TikTok so you can do Q and A's in the future in whichever platform you choose. As with any social media, it will take some time until you can monetize it. First, you get some visibility and if you actually promote your goods well enough, you might be able to get some sales. After 1000 followers, you'll be able to do live videos where you can get even more people's attention. Unfortunately, you can't use links on TikTok, so using your imagination is key wow. to succeed on TikTok. TikTok has a creators fund and you'll be able to draw from it once you reach, I'm gonna say between 10k to 100k followers, which is a lot. And you probably need about that amount of followers or maybe even more to actually be contacted by companies to act as an influencer. The good news is, as hard as it is to grow your Instagram or YouTube now, in the beginning it was easier. Same with TikTok now. Wouldn't you rather be there so that in a few years you're completely settled? I wish I had that opportunity for the other social media. The main con I find about TikTok is the extra work of making the videos at least for us already overworked artists. But like I said, you should already be doing them for Instagram. I hope this helps you to make a decision, but in the end, all that matters is you and your mental health. Only get yourself to do things you can do without forcing yourself to burn out. As an artist, that's the worst thing it can happen. I am really enjoying TikTok and to be honest, it has been such a boost to my own mental health. As I can see a steady growth in it comparatively to any other social media I'm actually trying to grow. Follow me there if you want. I'm still looking for a new friends. If you like this video and if you haven't watched yet my video on how to grow your Instagram as an artist, please follow this link over here because you really need to watch it. Even though Instagram is changing, most of the things I say there will still be useful for you to grow your Instagram. See you next week. Bye bye!